Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How, and in today's video, we are working on the D-Max, and for longer term subscribers, you would know that from some of the earlier videos, we've been running a DP chip in the D-Max for some time. It's been giving us a bunch of extra power, which has been great. It's been working A-OK, -okay. but there is a... Uh a sort of an updated version in town that we're gonna check out. I'll make sure I link that video in the descriptions down below. Long-term subscribers will know it's probably a little bit controversial in some of the some of the comments, people saying chips are no good, rah, rah, rah. I still stand by that chips have their place. If you can't get it to Dino and you're looking for a bit more power out of your rig, they can be a good thing. I am no stranger to Dino tuning with this thing over here. It's been on the Dino, Dino a whole bunch of different times, full custom ECUs and all of the above. So that definitely is the ultimate, not saying anything different there but i feel like there's there, there's a there's sort of a middle ground a new guy in town as far as if you can't get to a full dyno or maybe you don't want to go and go to to the full extreme there but you want some more custom ability than what a standard chip offers you there is a, a new version so i've been talking to berima about that option there and, and i really wanted to have a bit of a play and sort of show you guys really what it's all about this is the new pocket tuner from Ber berima and today we're going to go through this in in a bunch of detail so that if you are looking for more power out of your rig, whether it be a D-Max, BT, MUX, all of that sort of stuff on the 4JJ, 4JJ3 platform, or, you know, whether it's, you know, Hiluxes, Rangers, all of the above. I'm gonna sort of just talk through how one of these work. And then rather than, you know, me trying to describe via the uh, the butt dyno, how much more power it adds and drivability and everything like that. I thought, let's get this thing on the dyno. So we're gonna go down to Dynamic Diesel Services and actually put it on the dyno so we can get a before the tune's loaded factory view. We'll then load the new tune on that Berima will customize for the D-Max and then we'll rerun the dyno to see what kind of difference it makes. So that's the plan for this video. I'm interested in your thoughts along the way. So as you think through different questions or what have you, chuck them in the comments, because I'm keen to keen to see what you guys think about this new version. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you get in the box is pretty simple, really. You're only really getting some QR codes and what have you for the app that you download and some other bits and pieces from Berima. And then, but this is the sort of the main event, right? So you get the, the actual tuner itself. This has got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all sorts of good stuff and then ultimately you have an OBD port cable which is designed to plug into your standard ECU. There is an app that you download which looks a little bit like this but ultimately what's happening here is you are using this via the app to pull all of the factory parameters from your standard ECU. That is then automatically shot on over to the boys at Berima, who then can write a custom tune for your vehicle within all of the factory parameters. Then what happens is once they've done that, they hit the buttons and do the fancy stuff on their end on their dyno. It uploads back to this. We upload the new tune back in the D-Max, goes through an update process that you'll see later in the video and then boom, we have the new tune all installed. From here, I reckon let's get into the driver's seat of the D-Max. We'll plug this guy in and I'll sort of show you the process. Once we're done there, we'll get down to the dyno joint and we'll get some numbers from the mighty D-Max. Right, so here we go. We're in the front of the D-Max. The first step is with the vehicle off. You don't have to do anything crazy there. Get your tuner, the pocket tuner here, have it all plugged in and we need to plug in our OBD here. Now for the D-Max, it is literally just up under here. So you can reach up here, pull out. If you've got anything else in there, I've just got my scanner in there. Then you can just plug him in. So you just reach up in there, plug it in. This should automatically fire up. And then we go blue there. So it will go white initially, but then it goes, hopefully you can see that goes to the, the blue color. And that basically means it is ready to accept a connection. So from there, basically on our app, you jump into the PowerGate app on your phone. It does give you a pretty cool little step-by-step -step on what you need to do. So we've just done this bit. We've waited for the LED to turn blue. We then need to turn on our Bluetooth and pair the device. And from there, we then need to be on uh, our Wi-Fi signal. This is where if you've got decent, decent Wi-Fi, happy days, if you're out and about, maybe you don't have the greatest signal, you want to make sure these are both on the same network. So you want to make sure that both the 
module and your phone are on the same network, the easiest way to do that really is just to hotspot your phone. And once it's connected, you go through setting up your vehicle. This is pretty sort of straightforward. Just follow your nose there around setting up for us at Steamax. And we've already done this part here, so you can go skip there. We can see that that's my power gate. This one here, it binds to your ECU. So it, it, it's sort of locked to that. That's it up the top there. So for me to connect, jump back in and go start. It will then have a bit of a think here and start connecting through to the power gate. And we can see that we are updated here. It's gone yellow. So that means it's ready to go. It has connected. And you can see in here now it's, it's starting the application and going through its checks. But that's the good sign when, when it's changing colors like that. So white means it's in boot up and firmware. Blue means it's ready to accept a connection. Yellow means you're good to go. So we can see here it's doing an actual update for us. There we go. It's doing an auto uh, firmware update for us, which is handy. And here we go. We are in. So it is connected to our power gate. Now, the first time you have this, uh, it'll just have the details of the vehicle. And once you go into here, this is where normally you would have the ID section there ready to go. And that's where you're going to identify the vehicle and grab the, the grab the ECU. That's, uh, that's the process there from here. I reckon we bundle this all up and let's get on down to the dyno. We will step you through how do you go about the, the right procedure. But before we do, we'll get this thing on the dyno and dyno our before and then our after, after we've written our tune. So let's uh, let's jump in the car and head on down. So we're all lined up, DMAX on the mainline dyno. We're about to do the, the pre-run. So we'll do a couple of warm-ups and then we'll get into some power runs on the uh, on the old 4J and see see what we get then we'll do the uh, the upgrade we'll put the tune on see what's what and uh, we'll come back on restrap down on the dyno and uh, see what the difference is So power run complete. Our next step is we grab our pocket tuner. At this part is we need to load the tune. So when we did the read earlier, that then sends that tune back down to Berrima. They do their wizardry on their tuning software down that end based on all the files and all the history that they've got. So they're gonna get us to about that sort of 90 odd percent of a, of a full tune, which is pretty cool. You need to get your battery plugged in. So put battery on charge. We need to turn on the hazards so that they're, uh, they're flicking away. And then we also need to plug in the old seat belt. Now, the reason we do that is because that combination of those, one, we need, we need power in there so that the, the ECU's got plenty of juice and doesn't go flat. But the hazards and the the old seat belt there, they make sure that the ECU stays awake. And obviously that is just a little bit important because we want the thing to now write the file that's sitting on here. So what we need to do once we've done those things is we get our plug, we plug it back into our OBD port, which lives just under here. Pocket tuner will fire up. There we go. It's already gone through the light cycle there. So from there we go over to our mobile device. We flick on over to our app, sitting there just like that. And we can skip that, we can go start. And now it's grabbing the config, config file there. So it's recognized that, which is good. We're still in the correct mode over here in the yellow. So that's perfect. And here's our base screen, so we can see Berrima there. We can now go into our ECU, gives us the details, imports our files, and here we go. So it's recognized our tuner there, our pocket tuner. Same as what we have here. The fact that that is still ready to go, we want to check that. So it's yellow, so that's perfect. We've already done the ID. Now we want to write. So this is where we're actually going to write to the ECU itself our new file. So we go 
writing there with the go next we want to make sure yes that everything is correct we go yep got it so here's our stock file and this is where it's cool where you can go back so say you wanted to go back to your factory tune you can do that and here's the other one that is sitting there ready to go so we go yep thanks very much and now it's importing the file there we go so it's it's importing that we we'll should start to see this guy start flashing as it writes and it should probably change color there I think from memory here we go 100% imported so now we need to double press our ignition so that we make sure we're not starting the car but just before so it's saying yep yeah, make sure you're turned on check your connections and then you can see in there we're red and we're flashing meaning we're doing stuff it's kicking off some communication that you can see it's completed that part and then we get to the point where it says do you want to proceed do you want to write it and we go yes please there we go you can see it's starting to get ready to write it's going to do some funky stuff you're going to get front camera available it's going to say check system it's going to do all sorts of stuff and more importantly, what you should see is the actual pocket tuner starting to flash as it's actually writing to the ECU. So what it's doing now is it's grabbing that custom file and updating it, similar to what you would do if you were doing that live dyno, except it's doing it all via the pocket tuner. So we can see in there, it is programming away. This is gonna take about that 30 minute mark. So I'll check back in in about 25 minutes. For you, that is only gonna be a couple of seconds. So we'll see you in three, two, one. All right, and here we go. We uh, turn the ignition off and you'll see that your pocket tune is gonna go green and green. I reckon it's probably a pretty good sign. So from here, let's go okay. Doing some more communication. ECU written successfully, happy days. So that's a good sign. So from here we can okay through there and it should take us back to that main menu. There we go, we're just finishing it off, 99%, finalizing that. It will then export a log. So that grabs all that data and stores it to the cloud, to the power, to the uh, pocket tuners uh, cloud there as well. So that way you know what's been loaded on and that sort of stuff. And then from there, we're back into ready mode, back into the yellow LED. And then uh, there we go, back to the main screen. So from here, we're good to go. You'll see that if we go into writing, same thing as before there, this is one of the cool things with this, is it gives you the options there on the screen. So there's our stock file, that's our stock ECU. So if we wanted to go back, we can follow this exact same process, go back to the, the factory tune. That's as simple as redoing this process exactly as we did there before. Or there's our custom tune that we got from Berrimer that we've just written and it even gives us a little, a little last written with PowerGate, tells us on there what we've actually done there. So we are good to go. So from here, we can now turn the car off. We can turn off our hazards. We can power off our ignition. Pull this guy back out. That will power down and then we can get out of the out of the app. From here, we're gonna do another power run on the dyno, and we'll check out what kind of, uh, what kind of berries, what kind of uh, killer wasps we've added to the D-Max. All right, so we're all updated, we're all flashed. We're now gonna do a bit of a run, and we'll, uh, we'll do a couple of runs. But the whole idea is we'll start to see what the difference is, and see what difference that the flash has made. This is our power run. bit of extra power going on there. What we might do is we'll pull up our charts here and we'll have a bit of a look, show some torque there as well and have a little bit of a difference between the two. So here we are. This is our final outcome. Now there's no funny business here. This, there's no funny scaling or anything like going on that. See there that, you know, we've, we've got a bit of torque converter action happening here as it's, as it's kicking in. But I mean, we've picked up, we've gone, we've gone up a fair whack there. 
as far as power goes. Um, so that's pretty cool to see there. We'll flick over the other screen in a minute. And then the other one down here is, is the torque. So we've picked up a good 100 newton meters, which is definitely going to be felt in the old butt dyno. Let's go across just here and I'll show you as well. So here we go. So we picked up, there was our sort of baseline there at about 117. And uh, with, we haven't done too many power runs, but there you go. Straight away, you can see the difference there in the horsepower there, or the killer wasps. And then obviously the, our, our torque, actually 100 Newton meters there as well. The other one I just wanted to show is the AFR, the all important air fuel ratio there. And you can see we're still well within the range of what's deemed to be safe. That's awesome to see. And, and probably something to bear in mind as well. You know, we could wind the sucker up and we could you know, pull more power out of it, but it really is going to depend on what you're after. If you want something that's going to be nice, safe and reliable, an extra 100 newton meters, you know, 20 odd, 5%, something like that of power is definitely going to be felt in, in the old D-Max. And particularly when you're towing, that extra, you know, getting it up to a true 500 newton meters there is, uh, is definitely a good thing. So, so there you go. That is the no BS before and after for something like this. Of course, if you do go that full full dyno, maybe you can wick out a little bit more, but for something that ultimately you would do in your driveway, because obviously this this part is just to show you the difference, but normally this would be, you know, at home, you know, anywhere that you've got your phone and a Wi-Fi signal or internet signal, right? And you could do that. So you can take the take the vehicle from where we saw there at the start. We can do the tune process just like we saw and uh, pick up that extra power so pretty cool for me now we're going to get this thing unstrapped we're going to get it out the door from down here at dynamic diesel services we're going to take it for a bit of a road test keen to see how it feels and then i will meet you back at video show me how hq and we'll wrap up this guy to finish it all up well that about wraps it up here guys so this is the the full overview of the pocket tuner from berrimer diesel what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said there at the very beginning of the video, I, I think it's a very interesting concept in the fact that you can get some specialists to actually look at the tune of your vehicle, the actual ECU and, and getting there and, and make some updates. To be able to do this literally in your driveway, like you've seen across this video, if you can't get into a full dyno or maybe you don't want to go the whole hog, I feel like this is a, this is a pretty cool option. But let me know what you reckon in the comments down below. I'll have some links to where you can get this guy as well. I know they do sales and bits and pieces periodically as well to, um, to get some bucks off, which is always cool. But yeah, let me know what you reckon. That is all for this one. Of course, subscribe to the channel for more how-to content, particularly around the DMAX. Check out that playlist if you haven't already. There's over 100 videos there on builds and installs just like this for the DMAX, but lots of other how-to as well. So head on over and check it out. Hit the old subscribe and bell and all the things. But as always, guys, I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.